Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Rock Street from Japan, and today we're going to do a video review of Sons of Cybertron. This is part two, Optimus Prime. And this is just the back, I just wanted to show you that. I already showed you the sheet and everything else, so I'm not going to go too much in detail. It does come with a card over here, and as you remember, man, this guy's a beast, so I'm just going to see, leave that here. There's the back of the box over here. Let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look at the main man himself. Hey, the figure rolls around pretty well. There's not going to be too much of it. I like the detail in this, of course. You got a clear, clear coat on there. There we go. Look at that opaque looking colors. I just love the detail in on that. Uh, a little few quality control issues. I bet I can just take that off with a little bit of alcohol over here. As you can see on the side here, a little paint issues over here. Uh, but not too bad. Nothing that detracts too much from the overall figure. Uh, I wish they had more paint apps on the axe. The axe is kind of plain, but oh well. It's a deluxe figure, so you don't get that as much as you do on the Voyager class figure. But the paint apps are pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm not too big a fan of is this humongous gap and the fact that you need the axe in order for it to peg in together. Because if not, it's not a big floppy mess, but it, I mean, I'm not a big fan of things that need extra parts just to connect. So the back doesn't connect that well. And I'm, I'm wondering, why do they have the four wheels like that? It's kind of, it always trips me out. I don't know why. Wish the wheels would pop out more like the Voyager class, but oh well. A few little quibbles aside, you can see the back of the head and a few things like the wrists and whatnot in the back. But nothing horrible. I'm just going to give this mode a 7 out of 10. Alright, let's transform this bad boy relatively easy. Uh, just like a lot of the primes, like G1 Prime, everything, all I have to do is just stretch out the back over here. Well, I want to make sure I don't accidentally destroy it. And the thing about that is on doing that it kind of unlocks this over here this little hinge section which is kind of neat and that's not too bad we're going to bring the front portion down which bears over his head and that allows the arms to come down and that's good we're going to move these down up a bit these little flaps all right good and that basically allows this over here this front portion will actually tab to this thing right here so we're going to go ahead and move that down so it tabs. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Before we do that, make sure I get the head out. There we go. There we go. Easy enough. So we go ahead and pop that in. I'm thinking, man, it's tight. There we go. And the arms are already pretty much down, so we're just going to swivel that down. All right, bring that down. Bring open his big fists. And tiny smokestacks, which I'm not a big fan of. And the last portion is we're going to bring this down and okay, down and back. There we go. So it's looking pretty good. Oh, one thing, rotate, rotate the legs 180 degrees, put down the ankle supports. All right, looking pretty good. And one thing is that he's got this little weird He-Man gimmick. I don't know if it's part of it, but if you rotate his thing, he goes like that. Y'all remember from He-Man back in the 80s? Oh, well. A few kibble issues on the back, but nothing too horrible. And I don't like how the shoulders don't tab onto anything, but that's alright. G1 accurate insignia. Shoulders do go around 360. You got a neck crane as well as the head is on a ball joint but doesn't go too far. Double jointed elbow. Great articulation there. Wrists move in and out. The smokestacks are there, kind of like a weapon. Yeah, the waist doesn't rotate well, because of the gimmick. Has a hip joint, a knee knee rotation does bend at the knee and ankle support so it's not ankle isn't on a ball joint but hey you can get him to stand in pretty dynamic poses nonetheless i'm having trouble to get his axe in but it's not that bad so there you go size comparison there he is with hot rod sorry i don't have any other deluxe figures of optimus but that's all i got all right youtubers i'll give him a eight out of ten for that form and i'll catch you all next time